years already? 20 years. We started out with just one person here. Okay? And, well, I guess there was... Yeah, well, two, yeah. But they weren't with us very long. So, until the... But the one, the sister stayed with us the whole time until later. But anyway, um, we started out, say, with one person, two persons. And the church, look at you today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I am so blessed by the strength. I, I said I have watched many of you over the years. I have watched you. How that you have had the trials. How that you have had temptations. But I see how strong you have become. What a testimony. Hallelujah. Beautiful testimony of how God, the anchor, has held you. Amen? Yes. Has held you through many trials. Amen, Sister Mar uh, Miriam. I know you've had many trials. But look at you. You're still strong. Hallelujah. You're hoping. Why? Because you held on to the anchor. Yeah, yeah. You held on to Jesus. Amen. You said, Jesus, well, I know I put my trust in you. It's been several years. And your husband is now singing. Yeah. Wow. Amen. Whoa. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He was even here in Macau. But he was still young in the Lord has seen. At that time, I'm, I'm not sure. When, what year was he baptized? Uh, 2003. 2008. 2008. Uh, my husband baptized 2003. 2003. 2003. 2003. It's been a long time. Also. Oh, okay. I baptized 2000 and he baptized 2003. Okay, okay, 2003. But when he was in Macau, he um, also was not always able. Yet, yes. Yeah. Not so strong. Not so strong. But see, he himself. Even though he went through trials and temptations, he is now for sure holding on to the anchor. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. It's through your prayers. Yes, amen. Don't give up. Praise. Amen. 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 Hold on to Jesus. Yeah. Lord, you're going to save my family. You're going to save my loved ones. You're going to save my friends. Yes, amen. You're going to save, Lord God, in Jesus' name. That's what he wants to do is to save you. So we know that the anchor is our Jesus Christ. And I want us to read Hebrews. Turn to Hebrews. I forgot to tell the computer lady. That's fine. Hebrews 6, 15 through 20. Hebrews 6, 15 through 20. Yes. But before we read that, I just want to remind us that the world people will use many wrong anchors. So, and and the substitute of anchors for them, so many of it is out in the world, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they'll their their anchor may be in gambling. We have a friend here, a Chinese friend here, that just told us. Her mother spent thousands of dollars in gambling. She says she don't know what she's going to do because she needs to pay it back. So many times that she is mentally wanting to take her own life. Only Jesus is our anchor, Amen. not gambling. It's not going to take care of you. Yes. You can't hold on to that. Many people I have heard in Macau, they have such a problem with it. Uh, I'm talking about the Chinese. They have many of them have such a problem that they can They must go every day. If they do not go every day to, to do some gambling, then they feel sick. They want to throw up. They feel so sick. See, that's how they have allowed that anchor to hold them. But only Jesus. Brings happiness. We don't get Amen. sick with Jesus. Amen. We don't yes. feel sick with Jesus. Right. We feel love Hallelujah. with Jesus. Yeah. I want him to be my anchor. I don't want yeah. to be the other 
Uh, I don't want any other kind. Maybe dancing, maybe whatever uh, uh, drinking, uh, alcohol. Many things have people that that's the anchor. Oh, I got to go do that. That's my anchor. No, it's not your anchor. And I th only Jesus is our anchor. And life loses its value if you hold on to the wrong anchor. It brings disappointment. It brings, uh, uh, life becomes nothing more than a longing for happiness. Because even my Chinese friend that was telling me about this, she says, I'm so unhappy. And of course, I explained to her about God and how he is what keeps me. He is what brings me happiness. He is what helps me get through trials of our family. Even like Nathan, having that uh, brain tumor, that to me is a, a trial. That is something that I'm also distraught about. But I have to hold on to the anchor of Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't let it control me. I can't let it control me. I don't want it to take my happiness away. Even Nathan, he don't want it to take his happiness away. He says, I believe in God. I believe in healing power. Of the precious name of Jesus. He says, I speak faith. I speak faith. I speak. He doesn't even want to be around people that have doubt. He says, get thee behind me, doubt. Don't tell me that your brother or sister died of brain cancer and how that you're doomed to eventually die. I don't want to hear that. He says, I speak Jesus. I speak Jesus. And if Jesus takes my life, I'm in a better place. No more suffering. No more pain. But I'm going to speak Jesus. God is going to be my anchor. And that's how we feel today is I want God to be my anchor. You have everything in Jesus. And you have everything in this life that you want in Jesus. Amen? Amen. Many of us want different things. We think of material things because that's how limited sometimes our mind is. But what about the things, the spiritual things? What about the spiritual strengths? What about uh, the Holy Ghost that lives within us? Isn't that more important to think about than all these materialistic things that we want in life? We want Jesus Christ to run, rule our life. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and he will add. He will provide our needs, Sister Liddell. He provides Jehovah Jireh. He is my provider. Jehovah Rapha. He is my healer. Amen. Amen. Claim it. Claim it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, let's read. We can read all together. And so, after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. For men barely swear by the greater, and oath for confirmation to them all all strike. Wherein God will make it more abundantly to show unto the promise. That by the old, by an oath. That by two in the middle of the things in which it was impossible or by the two lines, we might have a strong consolation. Which hope we have an anchor of the soul, of the soul which shows sure and stays fast, and, and, and makes it into the wind in the veil. Let's read that again. Which, which hope we, we have as an anchor of the soul, of the soul both sure and steadfast, and, and which enter into that in the veil. Whether the forerunner is for us or God, even Jesus made a high praise forever after the order of which is today. Amen. Anchor of 
the soul. Amen. Jesus is our anchor Amen. of the soul. Hallelujah. 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 The identity of an anchor. And uh, our, our text states that Abraham patiently endured. Abraham patiently endured. He had uh, the slowness of God to make good his promises. He waited many years, amen. And the attacks of Satan upon Abraham on his faith, uh, the temptation of the devil to be enriched by the king of Sodom, Sodom, the persecution of others because of his godly walk. And Paul says, it is the Holy Ghost that is commanding that people be faithful to God because we need the Holy Ghost to lead and guide us. Amen. The Holy Amen. Ghost Amen. will quicken your spirit. Yes. It will quicken your spirit. It will say, don't go there. It will say, don't read this. It will say, don't listen to that other kind of music. It will say, uh, uh, let me guide you. Let me lead you Amen. in the right path. Say, Amen. Amen. Lift your hands and worship the Lord. Amen. Lord, we love you. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your goodness. Thank you, Jesus, that you are our anchor. Hallelujah. And we just read Hebrews 6, 16, which enlightens us that men would in days gone by be held to their vows by God. So agreements, God said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I am always with you. And that we will hang on to that promise. He is the Almighty. He is the Prince of Peace. He is the Everlasting Father. You are not 
not smarter. It is God. Amen. 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 He works within us. Jesus is our anchor. He is the anchor of my soul. Hallelujah. 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 God created us. He loved us so much that he died on the cross for you and I. He gave up his life. It was God who breathed. He died. Who rose again. And he will appear again. Amen. Amen. To take his bride out of this world. To take us home. Amen. No more party. No more goodbyes. But we're going to be all together. We're going to be worshiping the one that we came today to worship. We're going to be worshiping our creator. We're going to be giving him all of our praise. We're not going to be thinking about anything else but our Jesus Christ and what and, and just worshiping him. We don't have to even come to him for anything except to worship him. Lord, when he comes after us, we are just going to be praising him. What did the angel say? Holy, holy, yes. holy, holy, yeah. holy, yeah. holy, yeah. holy, yeah. holy. Yeah. holy. Yeah. Flesh 
uh, uh, that to, to go to Jesus Christ, we can enter into the holiest of holies now. We don't have to ask that priest to go. He used to be the only one that could go into the Holy of Holies. But we can go to directly to Jesus Christ now. And Paul, he was exhorting the unbelieving Jews to go into the Holy of Holies. And they, uh, then the Old Testament believers could, that only they, they had to go to the man. But Jesus Christ, he has showed us how to live a spiritual life. Amen. Amen. When he was here on earth, he taught us how to live that spiritual yes, life amen. and how to hold on to the anchor uh, of our soul, which is Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's just raise our hands. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 The high priest of Israel was to carry out law in the day of atonement wore a spotless robe and on the robe shoulders was uh, was the uh, 12 tribes on the road uh, list written on the robe of the priest and so it was it is on his shoulders it is on Jesus Christ's shoulders it is on his strength and that he can bring us into the Shekinah glory. Amen. Amen. When you are praying and you are seeking the Lord, when you are with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind, you are being brought into the Shekinah glory of Jesus Christ. Have you ever just been praying so, so much that you felt that you were just lifted up? Yes. That you were just lifted up on high. That you were just in a cloud. And that was, you were just lost with Jesus Christ. There's no other person I want to be lost with except Jesus Christ. Amen. Because he's the anchor of my soul. And he wants to guide me. He wants to pick me up. And that's what he wants to do. He wants to love us. And uh, uh, Galatians 4, we're not turning... Uh, four to five, but joy, uh, uh, but by the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his son, made of woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might uh, be to receive the adoption of sons. We have an anchor, Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. The purpose of the anchor it's to hold the wind tossed, the storm tossed, and the weary. Many times we get weary, but Jesus Christ is going to hold us. Amen. He's going to take care of you. He is with us during the storm. He holds us during the storm. I am with you, my child. I love you, my child. I care for you, my child. And he wants to, when, when we feel like we are so disappointed, when we feel like we're shipwrecked, when we feel like we don't know where to go, what to do, how to do it, Jesus Christ is our answer, amen? amen. He is the only one. He is the anchor through the fiery trials. He is the one that holds on to us. Anchors, they have to be dropped very, very, very deep yes. into the water before. If it's just dropped there and it's floating, it's not going to help. But it has to go very deep. So it is your relationship with Jesus Christ. It has to go very deep. In this it has to say, Lord, I want to serve you with all of my heart, with all of my mind, with all of my soul.
through our program as well, our discipleship. I know that's grounding you. I know that you're getting the word of God. And Monday through Saturday, I pray you are seeking his word and praying and allowing God to ground you deeper, deeper, deeper. That is what will keep you. And that anchor will be, Jesus Christ will be so strong in your life. Hallelujah. You can get through any temptation. You can get through any trial. He is with you and he will never leave you. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. The anchor helps not for things to not be so destructive. Just like I told you when we are on that ferry going back and forth from Hong Kong we will be rocky. We will be back and forth. But let me tell you when that anchor is holding down it may let us shake a little. It may let us rock a little, but when you're with Jesus Christ in the spiritual way, yes, that trial is going to knock you, but that anchor of Jesus Christ is holding on to me. And that trial, that God is God, it's going to try to come to me. But my anchor, he's not going to let me go far. He's going to say, come back here, my child. Come back here. I got you. I got you. I'm going to take care of you. No matter what you are going through. No matter what trial. He always either, he, he is with us and he wants to. But many times, some people, they will allow that anchor to kind of just get too far out. They will allow it just to flow. And before you know it, they are so discouraged. They are not even thinking. They start getting confused. But our God is not a God of confusion. Amen. 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 They will allow it. Before they know it, they're drifted out. They've drifted away. They've drifted away from their prayer life. They've drifted away from reading the word of God. They've become so unhappy. And they say, oh, maybe if I just go shopping, that will help me. I'll go shopping. Oh, yeah, a piece of chocolate. That'll be good. That'll help me. Oh, it helped me for a minute. Yes. While I ate that chocolate, it helped me for a minute. Yes. But then what happens? Oh, more. Okay. I'm drifting. I'm drifting. I'm still unhappy. Oh, maybe, maybe I'll try something else. Maybe, maybe I need a new pair of shoes. I'll go shopping. I'll go shopping. <laughs> That'll make me feel good. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. But it doesn't. It's only yes. for a season. Yes. But when you're with Jesus Christ. When you're with Jesus Christ. Yes. He, he gives us a little bit extra. We can go buy a new pair of shoes. He gives us that extra because he said, I will meet your every need. Amen. So if you need that extra pair of shoes, he's going to give it. He's going to allow you to go. We don't have to be selfish. Like We don't have to tell ourselves, okay, you can't. But you have to be aware of what is moderate. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Aware of what is moderate. Yes, I like new shoes. I like new clothes. I like this. I like that. Materialistic stuff. Yes, I love all of it. But we have to be moderate. Mm -hmm. You cannot go crazy. You cannot allow it to make you the most happy. Mm -hmm. Because only Jesus can make you the most happy. Yes, yes. amen. Only Jesus can yes. make us happy. Yes. Not that new pair of shoes, not yes. that new dress, right. but Jesus makes me happy. Yes. Amen. 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 And so you hold on to that anchor. Spiritually, I'm talking. Materialistically, I already mentioned. But spiritually, you will be happiest. You will be so happy you might even forget about all this materialistic stuff. Amen. But look unto Jesus Christ to bring that happiness. Oh, only allow Jesus Christ to bring Amen. the happiness, the joy, the peace. Amen. Even our children. You know, some people want to put their children even before God. And some people don't even realize it. Maybe they're doing more for their children than what they're doing for God. So you have to be careful. It's not just materialistic things. It's also our actions and our heart. What is in our heart? Is it only to please our children or our husband? Is that all we dwell on? Is I want to do everything for them and I want to do everything for him? No, I have to do everything for him, Jesus Christ. And it's all he asks me. Is to offer my praise. Yes. And when we seek ye first the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And his righteousness. 
Christmas. He will add all these other things. And he will add all things that make his children happy. He says, I want to make you happy. I want you to be pleased. He wants to be that anchor that holds us and not destroy us. The devil will destroy you. You have to be careful. Don't allow the devil, the enemy to destroy you. But allow Jesus Christ to save you. Allow him to Don't you depend on the devil's anger. You don't want to depend on the devil's anger. It is not, it does not, you will be lost. You will be destroyed. But when you have out 
of the lion's den. Amen. Hallelujah. He wants to see what God does. Yes. Amen. Amen. He could have, Daniel, he could have said, okay, I will bow then. You know, if he was going to be thrown into the fiery furnace. But no, he stood still. Hallelujah. He stood firm. He knew his God. Hallelujah. He knew his God would deliver him. He said, he will deliver me. I will not bow down. But I will pray to my God. He prays three times a day. We don't know how long, but he prayed three times a day. We thank God that he was such a great example for us. That he walked right out of that lion's den. And uh, also, of course, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego are the ones who walked through the fire. And uh, because they also would not bow down. But uh, 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 that's right. Because Daniel, he was praying and uh, they did not want him praying. So uh, Ruth remained anchored in her patience of gleaning in the field. She was patient. Did she become the wife immediately? No. no. It took time. Yes. It took time. You and I, we've got to be patient. But you hold on to that in grace. Amen. Because Amen. Ruth said, I know my God. Because yes. Naomi had taught her, hold fast yes. to the anchor of Jesus Christ. Hold fast to him. Love him. Hallelujah. Do you know a great prayer line? And a great uh, Bible reading does not happen overnight. Yes. It takes time. It takes time. You have to practice it. You cannot run a marathon without practicing every day, every day, every day. They must run. They must run. They must run. Yes. Every day, every day. Some of the Olympic people, they told us they, they practice 8 to 12 hours a day just for that marathon or just for that sport. But you and I, I know we have to work jobs, but you and I, we can keep our mind upon Jesus Christ. Amen. No matter what we're doing in the house, I can still think about Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Nobody can take it out of my 